Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. I am here. If you look at the left or right hand um, corner of your screen, you will see me. And yeah, um, hope you guys are doing very well. Hope everything is going on well with you. Um, so you guys, um, I said in my previous video, I don't know if that video is i've put it up or this one is going to come <laughs> you know um before it but i'm just trying out something i just want to know what your take is on this kind of video so showing you guys basically what it is that um i'm talking about as i am talking because um it looks like a number of people don't seem to understand what i'm saying when i'm saying it so i need to be showing you guys so that you guys will understand everything um yeah so if you're new here you're welcome once again and thank you to my old and returning subscribers for coming back again i really 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 appreciate your love and your support i do not take it for granted guys believe me i don't take it for granted um these people keep showing me unnecessary adverts to be honest and it's so annoying <laughs> Please, I'm not interested in this ad. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, please subscribe if you have not subscribed yet to this channel because I keep dropping very important information and I feel like everybody on earth should know about this. Okay, so if you have the opportunity of like migrating to any of these countries I talk about and um, any of these, um, you know, visa routes or routes for migration suits you, then please take the opportunity and do what you have to do yeah so yeah subscribe and like this video even before you go ahead because it helps the algorithm and it make um, a lot of people to um get to see these videos yeah i've talked too much today we're talking about um germany visa so i'm going to be talking about the germany job seeker visa and i will leave the links in the description box just so that you guys can go and check it out yourself so um i just i just want to really go straight to the point the fact that um germany they they seek um um highly qualified employees to work in what pay positions they need young people and skilled people to come over and join them germany is a very 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 um stable socioeconomic uh they have a very stable socioeconomic status and it's a very powerful country okay so very low unemployment rates and they have high growth as well and also they have a lot of schools even for vocational uh, voc those that are that have vocational skills um they have a lot of schools as well over about 358 schools and guess what there are there are schools in germany that you know you can study for free yeah so um yeah today i'm talking about the job seeker visa so the job seeker visa for germany is a long-term residency permit which allows you to stay in the country for six months and look for a job this is kind of similar to the um job seeker visa or uh, i made about um um austria i guess yeah this is kind of similar to it but this one is for germany okay so if at the end of six months you have found a place of employment you will not need to switch to a german work permit okay or a german work visa and then you will now be allowed to live and work there okay so note that having a job seeker visa does not allow you to start working immediately in germany right so um, it only means that you can visit the country and look for a job during your stay. So that is just the way it works. So unless you have gotten a job, you cannot, okay, continue staying in the country after six months. Okay, so let's get down to what and what is needed. In order to obtain the job seeker visa for Germany, you need to be eligible to apply, okay, and compile all the necessary documents and then fill out an application form and then book your visa appointment can you see how straightforward this thing is because a lot of people keep asking questions whenever i leave, um you know make videos and all that this is just like these things are quite simple you really don't need an agent for all these things you can actually do them yourself 
Now, there are several criteria that you need to fulfill to be eligible to apply for the Germany Job Seeker Visa. Number one is that you hold a bachelor or master's degree from a German university or an equivalent foreign degree. Okay, you have a minimum of five years of experience in your related field of study. Show proof that you have sufficient funds to cover your stay during the time you are in Germany. So you need proof of funds for this because they don't want it you to come and you know be a burden to the government okay so they need to know that you have a place to stay you have enough money to feed to clothe to transport yourself and things like that then you have to have your travel or medical insurance for the entire stay in germany until you get the work permit okay so if you've checked all of these boxes then you're a step closer to getting your visa now the documents for application you need to prepare them and attach them to your application form okay and um, you have to have all of them so you don't have an issue with it. Now, I would normally say that um, you should have, a, of course, I always say you should have a valid international passport because whoever wants to leave his or her country to another country needs a valid international passport, at least when you're leaving legally, right? And it should be issued in the past 10 years or valid for at least 12 months after your, your scheduled return. So, you need at least two years from what i'm understanding now you need at least two years on that your valid international passport okay so a copy of your passport's data page three pictures based on a biometric specification so when you're going for a biometrics they might demand that you have passport size photograph of um, passport photographs or pictures of particular sizes maybe cm or inches or things like that so you have to really verify because um not every passport goes for international things like this you need a cover letter where you explain the objective of your visit how you plan to find your employment and your alternative career plans if you cannot find a job okay so diploma of your degree or any other proof of academic qualification from a german or non-german university so this does not apply to only those that might have studied in germany as well as any certificates of previous work experience you need a detailed cv your proof of accommodation in germany that's when you where you'll be staying during your visit you need proof of financial means to cover the cost of your time when you're going to be staying there okay so you need um a formal obligation letter by a sponsor living in germany probably if that's what um, you have and then um your bank account statement or a block bank account so uh, this block bank account germany uses it a lot so it's just like they are providing you an account okay where you get to put in your money all right and then when you come when you move over to germany then they will now give it to you do you understand so that is what the block account is like so proof of personal status in your home country such as your birth certificate marriage certificate and others and this must be translated in english language and then you need proof of your health insurance okay so in order to fulfill the requirements you have to prepare two sets of documents and take them to your um application center all right so Note that after having all these documents, does not guarantee that you'll be granted the visa. However, the decision is entirely up to the consular officer. Okay, so um, the consulate or the German embassy, you know, might require additional documents. Okay, and this might apply to certain professions such as nurses, medical doctors, pharmacists, teachers. So just so you know. So let's get down to the application form now. After you've gathered all your necessary documents, the next thing is for you to fill out the application form from German embassy for the job seeker visa. After you have submitted this form, then you you can now book for an appointment. And then that interview will now determine whether or not you'll be granted um, the the job seeker visa. Okay, so if you are very very serious about this thing, then you have to you know put in all the work, make sure there are no mistakes, cross your eyes, dot um, cross your t's, dot your eyes, and all that. Okay, now um, unless you have found a job, okay unless you have found a job you cannot stay beyond that six months that's one thing you must know so that you don't go and um you know um go against the rules or regulations of the place and you know sleep you know reduce your chances of um being granted a a work permit okay so you must change into a residence permit for employment okay which is a work permit once you have gotten a job okay 
So I'm going to um, talk about getting a German work permit in the next video if that's what you're interested in. So look out for that video. Subscribe if you've not done so already so that you don't miss out on that upload. All right. And you guys um, subscribe to this channel if you've not done so already. Like this video. Share to every single person that you know. And yeah, till I come your way again next time, you guys. Bye.